All right, well, we've made homemade gloves and homemade bats, and you asked for it. It's time for homemade baseballs. All right, do you know what you're doing yet? A little bit. I'm probably gonna do like a lacrosse ball. Lacrosse ball? Yeah, put twine around it. Lacrosse I just don't ball's kind of big. It's at least closest in weight to a baseball. Otherwise, I would have done a golf ball. Mm. Mm. I thought about doing a, a golf ball too. I thought mm. about doing golf ball as the center. But that's why Trev did a golf ball with yarn for his prototype. All right, so I'm gonna do golf ball with yarn too. <laughs> <laughs> so my thought for my baseball is a core, hopefully a golf ball if I can find one. And then we're gonna go yarn and string and stuff wrapped around it. And then we're gonna use, instead of leather on the outside, we're gonna use flex seal. Ooh, one thing I might need, I might need some sort of adhesive because I'm going to do the yarn mm. and like an actual baseball and adhesive like do the wrap. So I might need some gloves to apply those. See, I feel like the only thing with this is like a lot of us have the very same idea of yeah. like what we're going to do. Yeah. So we'll I don't see know just how yeah. it works. Yeah. Eric, what you should do is you should just uh, get a piece of wood and then uh, yeah, just chisel on a ball. <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> when I thought about the time to sand that down to a round object, it would take me all day. I'm just gonna get a bunch of these. This is obviously gonna be primarily what most of the baseball is gonna be out of, but I need to find a center. So as of right now, it's either a bouncy ball, a golf ball. I don't think this is gonna be enough. Maybe some duct tape, we'll see. I think I'm gonna go with flex tape this time. Last time my bat broke because of the duct tape. Oh, oh my God! What are we thinking for the baseball, Eric? Hear me out. Okay, <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> Welcome to Home Depot, how can I help you? This is, uh, can this you is cut this motherfucker? The... What are you trying to build? Uh, don't worry about what I'm trying to build. Things are okay. fucking electric. When I get this done, it's <laughs> fired up right now. What do you think about Eric's chain idea? That's a horrible idea. It's really bad, but look at how confident he is. He's just walking, he's off on a mission. What are we going with, Kev? Well, so far I've got just the flex seal. I was going to do the tape at first, but after talking to uh, Johnny from Home Depot, <laughs> our buddy over there, he suggested going with the flex seal spray, so. Where? Okay, now. You lost the drum Damn it. Came up just short like you do in most of the challenges. Oh. I was just thinking about the homemade glove where your finger got a little shortened too. That one? <laughs> was it that one? Let's get it. Ooh. Pain tolerance, baby. Let's see, pay now. 48.93. I need to find a center of my baseball. <laughs> 3971. <laughs> On brand. In my life. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. No! <laughs> so I gotta get rid of one of them, right? How do I delete one of these? Let's go. Barely. Let's go! You can't make this up! I'm the king of 69. I have $2.31 left. <laughs> Hi. How much is a small ice cream cone? <laughs> mm. I'll be craving this. Very fortunately for me and Cole, we have uh, Second Swing Golf, which is right next to the Home Depot. So we're going in to get one golf ball. We're doing well. I'm looking for one golf ball. Oh, look at this. So how much are these? How much, how much do we owe you for these? Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Hey. Yeah. They need to pay for these. Right? That's part of the challenge. Uh, can you make them 69 cents? Yeah, can you charge me 69 cents? Look at, look at yeah. that. All right. Guy, right? Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Way. My, son, my son watches you all the time. No Can way, I get a man. picture? Absolutely, Dude, man. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, he knows who I am. You see that? How did that just happen? <laughs> I, we got free golf balls, but somehow Eric got recognized. <laughs> what? How long do you think it's gonna take Eric to make his baseball? Probably like two hours, and you're just gonna be sitting there like, "Fuck, this is heavy," and then you just give up. What do you think, Cole? How long does it take Eric to make his baseball? I don't think he completes it. Wow. And if he does, I'm gonna give it another one swing to break. I don't know, he might rush it and do it in an hour, but it just will be looking half-assed, so. Uh... No one has high hopes for Eric's baseball. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna take you to make your baseball? <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> wow. 10 minutes? <laughs> First, we have this. this is basically for your blinders or whatever you put at the end. And when you take it out, it looks something like this. So this is gonna be my base, okay? Now on top of this, I uh, will be uh, using these this wire. I will wrap it around it to give it a little more structure and also a little more size. And I chose this because it's gonna be uh, unbreakable. So hopefully it gives a little bit of the bounce. And then I have got a bunch of the white electrical tape so that it gives that white color, of course. Some uh, red one here as well for the seams. And for my seams, I'll be using this chain thing I got. Cut them up so that it can make a little bit of a seam. Uh, it can rip good a little bit. So, and uh, behind, I'll have also the, the bubble wrap, bubble bubble, bubble wrap, and I'll be putting that on top. It's gonna go basically this. 
Bubble, no. Bubble wrap, no. Is bubble wrap, no. I don't know what's going to go first. So let's get it, baby. So before we get started, let's check out the materials. If you've seen the homemade content before, you know that I've typically gone for using duct tape. So I've got the duct tape glove, duct tape that. But today, we're going to be making our homemade baseball primarily out of rubber bands. I do think the rubber bands are what's going to keep this baseball together, and it's going to make it the most sustainable so that Eric can hit a 450 tank with it, hopefully. But the biggest problem that I'm running into is I don't know what to make the inner portion of my baseball with. I've got this bouncy ball. I have this lollipop, a golf ball, but Trev is using a golf ball, so we're not gonna do that. Or this rock, a very special rock. This was given to me by Trevor while we were looking for some material today. Here, I found your thing. Look, here's your <laughs> no. core. I'll think about it. <laughs> for content, we're gonna go with this piece of rock first. Hopefully I can make a good baseball out of this. We're gonna wrap some rubber bands around it and we'll see what happens. All right, so here's what I got. Some gloves, got a couple needles, used golf ball right here. This is gonna be the center of the baseball. I got two different thicknesses of twine. Thread, sewing thread, something like that. Very, very thin, so this is gonna make the outer layer so it's very dense. Along the way, we're gonna have this flex seal right here. So I'm gonna wind a layer, dunk it in the flex seal, let it dry for a little bit, wind another layer, dunk it in the flex seal. That way, the flex seal fills all the holes in between the twine and the string with rubbery material, so it has a little bit of spring to it. And we'll see what we get, so let's get to building. I have all my stuff here. I try to make my things simplified because I've got other things to do, like edit this video. The core is gonna start off with this little ball that I found. Yes, I don't know if you guys wanna say if the rules why, like I didn't necessarily buy this, I found it at the facility. It's like a little training ball, a little bit squishy. I shall call him squishy. We're gonna wrap it with the twine. What I'm gonna try and do is do the flex seal first and hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, the backup plan is to wrap the ball with the flex tape and then to uh, put on seams, <laughs> red sharpie. So let's get to it. <laughs> so yeah, so this is gonna be a while. So let's, uh, let's check in on somebody else. <laughs> All right, so after a long day of work, I uh, decided to come home, build my ball here at my little shop. So this is what I got going on. So I went the more traditional route. I went and grabbed some sort of leather. They call this leather at Hobby Lobbies. So I'm going to, I actually found this, it's a, a, some sort of kit that allows you to make kind of like a keychain. Ah, uh, sweet baby Jesus. So I'm gonna use this as kind of my model. If you've ever seen a baseball dissected, they basically look very similar to this. I'm gonna make my own little cinch holes here. Core is going to be a bouncy ball and it's going to be wrapped slightly in little pieces of cork. Then I'm going to wrap it in this tacky putty. Then once that's done, I'm going to take this contact cement and dip this yarn like material, wrap it to create my core. And then once the core is finished, that's when my two pieces of leather here that have all the little holes, I'm going to wrap it around it, make two sections. And then I'm going to use this, I guess it'd be leather to create my leather seams. That's what I got going on. About five ounces, five ounces. Uh, the reason I chose electrical tape, stretchier, duct tape, I don't think you get a good grip of it. And this, it's actually really slippery, so I don't think it's gonna be very good for grip. <laughs> when I wrap it around, it's not gonna be as bad, so. We'll Can you guys fuck off, please? This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Now, something I didn't plan for is that each of these rubber bands actually are different sizes. So I'm gonna go with the smallest ones first and then work our way around. I am regretting this rubber band approach. It's gonna pay off long term, but in the short term, this fucking sucks. The first problem I'm having is the golf ball's a little bit slick, so the string is not sticking to it. We're just gonna try this one more time, see if we can get a layer of string going that'll stick to. If not, I might have to find a little bit of super glue or something to, to tack it up, but we'll see if we can make this work right now. Worth it. Dude, you're 95 pounds. And this is Odin, but he's gonna help me build my ball. In your room, yeah. Nope, I fucked it up already, that's good. Fuck. Okay, I didn't think I'd need this much leather, but apparently I fucking do, because I can't fucking trace it the right way, so. All right, so this is what I got so far. Now, I'll, to protect the, the, the bubble wrap, I'll be wrapping around the wire around it, and I'm gonna retape it with the white electrical tape on top of it uh, to make it secure and fucking make the most unbreakable baseball possible. I don't know how to cut this wire though, so I might be fucked here. I don't, I don't think scissors, was, I can't cut it with scissors. Um, I'll have to use the scissors, so that's all I got, <laughs> unfortunately. Again, durability wise, you're not gonna beat this. I'm just, I got fucking wires, like is there, is there not, you can't cut this ever. 
Before we get any further, let's get a quick shout out to the sponsor of our video, Bridge Wallet. Here at Momentum, we know a thing or two about building homemade items, but one thing we'll never have to build is a homemade wallet, because Ridge has got us covered. This wallet holds 12 cards with extra room for the dudes that carry cash, and with over 30 colors to choose from, each wallet comes with a lifetime guarantee. And since this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet, all Momentum viewers can get up to 40% off their next purchase through December 22nd by going to ridge.com slash momentum. Again, that's ridge.com slash momentum. Link will be in the description below. And once you find that next wallet, the Ridge team is so confident in your purchase that they'll let you test drive it for 99 days. And if you don't love it, you can send it back for a full refund. So go pick out your next wallet and let's get back to the content. Okay, so now that I got a couple rubber bands to stick, we're starting to see some serious progress. Thank God, I was getting worried there. You can see that I've got a nice little ball shape start, start in the form. Now I had to be very strategic with how I went about putting these rubber bands on. I had to make it super, super tight around the edges because I wanted to make sure it wasn't lopsided. After this, I'm not quite sure what's gonna be next. We might go ahead and flex seal around it. I might use the duct tape or paper towels. I'm not sure yet, we're gonna find out, but might need a couple more rubber bands. The cork is a bouncy ball. I'm gonna try to add cork to it. I'm not in love with the cork idea. I just found it, I had the budget. Oh, I think we just use this. Why is there a pocket of air? That's stupid. This is no power tools, but. As soon as I can no longer see the golf ball, I can get rid of the gloves because my fingers won't get sticky. You can't have sticky fingers, people. Not when you're working with baseballs. That would be cheating. We don't do that. You can barely even see the golf ball anymore, so we got a good start. It's very firm. The thread is not compressing at all, which is really nice. Off to a really good start. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this needle. I'm going to cut this uh, rope and feed it through, and we're going to do our first dip in the flex seal. Okay. Baseball going in the flex seal. Three, two, one. Oh, it's going to overflow and it's not sinking in. I'm running into a little bit of a challenge here. There's too much flex seal in my container, so I'm having trouble getting the top part, but it's all right. We're just gonna move this guy around in there a little bit, fill all those crevasses. We got this thing all gooed up. Just a matter of letting it dry, so I gotta actually hold it here <laughs> while all this stuff drips off. Minor oversight, I should have gotten a little placemat or something, but uh, I'll just hold it till all this stuff drips off. That should be fine. Should only last like a minute or two. Before I do another coat, I'm gonna get a rig to like, to, to tie this to and that it can drip over that I don't have to hold because I don't want to sit here and hold it for like 20 minutes straight. We have a fan, got a stand, the ball tied and it's sitting here in the wind drying. So hopefully that'll take like, I don't know, half the time off. So I'll just dip it and then 15 minutes later I can start winding again. That's the hope. Now the one problem I'm having with this is my string keeps running away from me. <laughs> it's over here. Huge respect to anybody that thought of wrapping a rubber ball with yarn. Because I know this is all mechanized nowadays, so not too bad so far. Probably haven't made a ton of progress, but you know, still going. I think I found an easier way of holding the twine just put it up on the bar here. Hey, what is this? What is this sorcery? What the hell? That's way too smart. I didn't think of it until like my yarn started rolling away, like how Trez was rolling the other way. So then I was like, you know what? Hey, the spool large enough to just slide in on there. Wow, how did I not think of that? Okay, so new update here. Really excited about this. You can see that the rubber bands are now starting to form. You have no idea that there used to be a rock or that there's a rock in here. It's as close to a circle as we can get, but before we continue, I now wanna go ahead and use the flex seal. Let's seal this all together so that the rubber bands don't break. So now might be a bad time to say this, but I've actually never used flex seal before, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna do a quick test before we go. I'm gonna just hit it with a baseball bat and make sure it doesn't break. All right, let's go. Very stable. I'm gonna do one more just in case, okay? All right, now we're gonna do seams, which is gonna be right here with the red tape. It's actually pretty like, <laughs> do <Dude>, thick. <laughs> it's gonna fuck your fingertips up when you throw. I don't give a shit, I'm not the one throwing, so fuck. Trevor, right? Trevor's throwing? Fuck him, let's make it sharper. <laughs> right, so this is gonna be our seam right here, okay? 
Dude, doesn't look terrible. Oh, Looks you're like going a baseball. With, you're going with the seams and the, the stitches and everything. I I'm love dude, it. I'm, I'm, I'm going all out. I told you. I'm this way. I'm trying to get the adhesive to stick with the balls. It ain't working as well as I probably wanted it to. Yeah, glue. Now when I sew this, it'll cinch it in. The boxiness right now. It'll solve itself when I sew it. I gotta figure out how to fucking sew this thing because my needle is a waste of fucking time. So they have this thing, they call it like cross stitching. I have literally never done that before, so why not give it a fucking try? Now, my dad's a plastic surgeon, so you would think that uh, sewing is genetic. Well, I can say this much. My dad is a terrible baseball player. It has been taking fucking forever. All right. Woo! So we're nearing the end of this rubber band baseball journey. Approximately two and a half, three bags used. They close to about 400 total rubber bands. So comparison, pretty dang close to the shape. A little lumpier, but might be just a little bit heavier, but it's also got a much more dense core. We're gonna seal it once more, and uh, this baseball is gonna fucking win. Like, I'm convinced. This is a baseball, and this is my ball. So they're getting to be about the same size. We're gonna wind this very thin thread until you can't see the thick thread underneath, and then we're gonna call it quits and flex seal it and be done for the night. All right, what do you guys think? Is this, uh... they look to be about the same size. Almost if I took like a leather and put it around this, it'd be about the right size. I think I'm gonna flex seal it right now, let it sit overnight and see where we're at in the morning. Pretty happy with it. It's very hard. It definitely is gonna be high exit velo. I'm gonna go one, one more dip, nice and sealed, and then uh, let it dry overnight. Just hang it somewhere, let it dry. This is how I get a nice even coat. I just spin it so it throws all the excess off. And then it also fills in the little gaps and thins the coat out so it dries a little bit quicker. That should be about right. Next up, let's do some of this. We have to go outside. All right, boys, we finally did it. Boom, this is my official ball that I'll be submitting to our challenge. We've got the official D's Nuts. Um, Rawlings logo, of course, is authentic as fuck. And uh, the MLB logo, um, hitting tank. So let's fucking go. The next day. Excuse me, sir. Sir, hey. <laughs> What's up? How do you feel about the ball? <laughs> well, I just washed my balls, but this one here. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I feel like this is gonna be a winner. What I'm most proud of about this ball is that the core is a random rocked. Oh, wow, damn it. That at the core of this is a random rocked. What the fuck? What I'm most excited about is that the core of this is a random rock that he gave to me. Pick winners, baby. If you could have done anything different, what would you have done? I think I put one extra layer onto this, which made it a bit more heavier, a little bigger than I probably would have wanted. So the weight's my only concern. Hopefully it's durable. I think it's a winner. If there's anything you could have done differently, what would it be? Be kind of like Trevor's, where maybe using like a finer thread, so that way it's smaller, make it more compacted. We'll see. I think this is going to be interesting. You know what I think this ball is going to be excellent for? Is bunting. <laughs> if you could have done anything different, what would you have done? I would have been a bit more deliberate in how I cut them, and like the sizing and shape. I would know the different layers I have to make, so. And I think I'll actually be able to make a pretty passable baseball. If you could have changed anything, what would you have done? I would have maybe glued or sewn some stitching into it underneath the flex seal before I sealed it, so there's a couple seams. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna throw this pellet. I'm gonna blow it right by everybody. Eric wouldn't be able to hit this, so that's all that matters. If you could have done anything different, what would you have done? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for the chain part, because uh, if someone hits it, most likely you tosh, something's gonna happen, and I'm excited to find out what happens. <laughs> I want shit to like break and just like sparkle and fucking someone dying or whatever. That'd be content, million views. All right, if you're interested in seeing how these balls actually perform, make sure you tune in next week or check it out right here. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> it's not looking good for Eric's baseball.